Uh, this is Christian Help. We have been around since 1975. We were originally started by Sister Brendan, but we are now a non-denominational, non-profit. Uh, we have five programs. We have the free store, which is where I'm standing right now, which uh, anybody on any given day can come in and get one bag of whatever we have here, whether it's clothing or housewares or, as you can see, toys for kids or, or whatever is down here. Uh, we also do emergency financial assistance which is uh, a very large part of what we do. Um, we give out $50 every six months uh, to any individual and, and the needs are from first month's rent or deposit or a shut off notice or sometimes a connect notice. Um, if someone needs medications of some kind, those are the types of things that we provide that emergency financial assistance for. And we give away emergency financial assistance to the tune of about $4,500 a month. It is up over last year, as so many of our programs are. We also have a food pantry, which is an emergency food pantry. It's once every 60 days. There are no um, qualifications. If you're hungry, you get to use the food pantry every 60 days. We also have a men's and a women's career closet. Now that means we provide career clothing, but career clothing isn't just business or business casual. We also provide clothing for those who work in the construction industry, both men and women, and also for those who work in uh, the restaurants around town. We have a fund out of which we can buy the non-skid shoes and the steel-toed shoes. So it covers a, a wide range of things. Uh, and we also have a new program called Jobs for Life. Jobs for Life is basically a jobs training program that is faith-based, uh, which teaches soft skills, which no matter who you are, um, you need to know soft skills. You need to know how to use um, your watch, how to not talk on the phone, how to respect authority, how to show up on time for a job. And so those are the types of things we teach and we do it from a biblical perspective. So those are the five programs that we have. Well, Bartlett House is Morgantown's only homeless shelter. Um, it's been in operation since 1984, although this isn't its original location. It was originally opened in, on Grand Avenue in Morgantown. And we serve um, over 700 unique individuals every year from individuals such as men, women, and children, with children and the elderly being the most significant uh, subpopulation of the homeless that we see a significant rise year after year. One of the things that I think is our strength is that we operate on a very proactive approach to homelessness. We do that by uh, working with each individual um, on an individual basis and realizing that there is not a one-size-fits-all approach to somebody's state of homelessness. So each client that comes in here is assigned a case manager and that case manager helps that client identify goals um, specific to them that will help them get out of homelessness and back on their feet. We encourage people to honestly be in a position of strength when they're leaving here so that not only are they no longer staying at the shelter, but their chances of returning to the shelter are significantly reduced. I think one of the, the biggest obstacles that we face um, as a society is that people think that homeless individuals are choosing to live this way or that they're lazy or that they have drug addictions or alcohol addictions and I think the reality in our community is that there are people that are down on their luck, they're on hard times and although we do see people that suffer from addictions and substance abuse, the vast majority of the people we serve are people that worship at our churches and attend our children's schools and work where we work. They just are not able to find affordable housing or they've had one setback that has sent them into a downward spiral and brought them to our doors. This is Scott's Run Settlement House and we are a social service provider in the Montegelli County area. We have been serving our neighbors in need since 1922 and right now our primary focus is um, on feeding we have a food pantry, which is one of the largest and busiest in the county. This year we'll serve over 8,000 individuals through the food pantry. Um, our clients who come here, when they come, they meet with a master's prepared social worker, um, and she does in-depth case management to make sure that we are meeting clients' needs and to make sure that we connect them with other agencies. 
Um, we also have our backpack feeding program. Um, we're currently in six of the 10 elementary schools in Montegelli County. Uh, most of the other, the remaining schools are being served by um, other organizations or churches. But we're providing 850 children a week um, with a bag of food to go home for the weekend. It's intended to replace the breakfast and lunch that they might receive at school. And then aside from that, we also have a senior program. Um, we have a variety of opportunities for seniors to come here during the week. On Monday, we have a quilting group. Um, and then alternating Thursdays and Fridays, we have a lunch and learn style meeting where we bring speakers in to talk about topics that are relevant um, to seniors. For example, if there's been a change in Medicare, then we'll bring somebody in to talk about that. We've done a safe driver program, and they also do fun things. Um, they sometimes play bingo or do crafts, whatever's fun. But there's always a nutritious meal. And then one, one week a month, we have a covered dish lunch where seniors will, they'll all bring their favorite dish and um, share and have a community style lunch. And it's, it's really a lot of fun. Um, we do a handful of other things. Um, we have a home repair and a, um, weatherization program. We have um, what we call our seasonal outreach. So at Thanksgiving and at Christmas and Easter and at the beginning of school, we provide families in need with supplies that they'll need. Um, and we do have a baby pantry over in the food pantry. Um, so parents who need diapers or wipes or bottles, um, we have formula and baby food. Um, they can come and access those items as well.